What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my definitive defensive tutorial. This has been my most requested video by a mile ever since eFootball24 launched. So let's crack on and get into part one of this, which is going to be all about gameplay. So we've broken down defense into three to four kind of simple ways of describing it, right? The first one is going to be zonal. That's going to be all about letting the play develop, seeing what happens and then, you know, seeing if you can win the ball back. The second one is going to be all about team pressing, team pressure, um, kind of a mixture between being aggressive and letting the play develop and kind of holding off a little bit, a bit of space and as well. And then the last one is going to be aggressive man-to-man -man defending, like very manual defending. I think to be a great defender, you need to be able to mix everything, not just let the game do it for you. That will get you found out eventually. Now, they've made some changes to eFootball 2024's defense, right? They've adjusted the position of players so that it is now easier to reclaim possession when applying pressure and adjusted the position of players in matchup. Zonal, coverage, space, and whatever you want to call it, that's linked to defensive awareness, the stat, and blocker and interception skill, right? Man-to-man -man and teammate pressure is going to be linked to tackling and the blocker skill. So we're going to see a couple of examples here, right, of all of these. This is man-to-man, -man, it's spacing, it's pressure, it's waiting to see what your opponent is going to do. Kind of preempting what he's going to do. If you want to be a great defender, you need to be able to mix them all, right? So for this, we're going to have an example broken down in its most simplest terms. Zonal defense or coverage, that's what I call this. That is kind of all about defensive awareness, raising that stat to the highest it can be and having the blocker and interception skill, right? They've made changes as I showed you a couple of minutes ago, right? So when you're boosting up a player like this and you're training them, it's all about defensive awareness and having those player skills. And this is what it's all about, right? So you'll see here as the play develops in a couple of these situations that I'm not really going into the attack until I know that the, the, kind of the chance is there for me to win the ball, right? I'm kind of stepping back. I'm not really committing. I'm not going too aggressive. And this is a really good technique if you're playing against somebody that knows how to play the game and that is waiting for you to make a mistake, right? Kind of higher skilled players, okay? We're going to defend the space. We're going to defend certain zones. The zones that are, how would you say, exploitable. Like the exploitable zones in the space that's being created by the AI. You'll see here I'm tracking back with Declan Rice as my DMF. It's a two-on-two, two, really a two-on-one one if he gets that pass off. And we just wait and we see how it develops and we know what he's going to do. Similar to this here, we put the press on a little bit higher. The minute he makes the chance, I'm bomb. I'm straight in with it. Now, when we're in training mode here, you'll see the kind of positioning in a little bit more detail and a bit closer up, right? And this kind of translates to this chance here as well, that you're kind of mixing and matching different techniques. You're not really committing too much to the ball. You're not going out and saying, gimme, gimme, gimme. You're basically saying to your opponent, right, what are you actually trying to do here? I think you're going to try and go past me here with a double touch. I think you're going to recycle the ball back. So it's kind of getting in the opponent's head, but you're not committing either way. So when you actually are patient in defense, it's very hard for your opponent to break you down unless you get caught in the counterattack or else he's a beast of a player, like a top 1,000 player or so, right? So you just have to be a bit more patient with zonal defending. It takes a while to get steady at this. Um, I would class myself as a fairly good defender, but I sometimes start to get frustrated when you can't win the ball back because you do get screwed every now and again. What I would say is when you're learning the game, right, try and predict where your opponent is going to go. Try and block the pass the lanes and try be patient. Don't rush it. You'll see chance after chance here just breaks down from me not really doing anything. Like, so have a look at that. A team press combination, the team pressure that you're going to see here, um, this is going to be like a kind of a mixture between team pressure, man-to-man, -man, everything. Marquinhos is probably the best player at this. I would say one of the best players at doing this is because he's got a mixture. And when you're training him up, that's where we're going to go with it, right? And for this, we talked about zonal, we talked about space, and with Marquinhos, he's kind of a halfway between both, right? He's not ball-to-the-wall destroyer type, um, you know, aggression. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be letting the team press from the our, our AI do a lot of the work and we're going to manually cover the space so we've got a mixture of man versus man by holding l2 to block passing lanes and to close the space with our manual and then also being able to use that matchup when we get close in to be able to block shots and block passing lanes and when we're in an enclosed space we're able to block a lot of those balls that would you know potentially get through but we still have that coverage from the teammate pressure and being able to get the ball back and then we can just flip and you know um, flick to different teammates whenever we get the chance. Now, as you see from this example here, this is all about being patient, but also using the teammate to be pressured and to be aggressive. And I would say that the defense at the moment in the Football 24, it's probably a little bit too automated, but you do need to use this at your, at your um, you know, 
your strength. You need to turn it into a strength. Now, we get caught in the break here. Watch how aggressive my opponent is here. He's using the teammate press. If you break this press, you can dominate people like this, but it's high risk, high reward. And a lot of people use this balls to the wall defense to pressure up the pitch as high as you can. You can see I'm literally just being completely swamped here and it's very hard and you will see that he gets a chance out of it. It's manual pressure, it's teammate pressure, it's the AI offensive awareness and defensive awareness of where the ball is going to go. It's terrible for me, but I just can't get the ball out and he eventually gets a shot. That leads us on to our last one, which is man-to-man, -man, or as I call it, aggressive. Now, this is probably the easiest defending to do, but it's also the highest risk, right, um, with the most reward. This is where you're going to score most of your goals for on counter-attack, getting the ball from a really deep position, a couple of passes, and boom, you've got a chance on goal. Timber, Kunde, Alaba, whichever way you train these guys up, aggression is going to be the key here with the player skills, blocker, and interception. Now, where we looked at zonal and spacing, and then teammate press, teammate pressure with the last one this is all about just literally honing in on the ball and making that risky chance um become your own by basically trying to get the ball back as quickly as you can and as aggressively as you can right this can really get into your opponent's head you can kind of frustrate your opponent if you can get a crunch and slide tackle in or a couple of really hard blocks in it can kind of say to your opponent, listen, I'm going to give you a hard game here today. You're not getting anything soft. I'm going to give away a couple of frees. That's fine. We'll live by the sword with this one, right? I wouldn't recommend to do this all the time. I would say that when I see people pressing me the whole time and being very aggressive, I kind of lick my lips after a while, especially if you get one goal against them because they even get more aggressive. So you have to have controlled aggression. That's the biggest thing I would say about defending, no matter what technique you use, whether it's zonal, whether it's teammate pressure, whether it's man-to-man -man aggressive, aggressive defending, or if you want to be a better player, a mixture of all three and using the best method or technique for defending for each given moment. Sometimes the ball just needs to be won back. If you're too passive and you're defending the space the whole time, you can get ripped apart. Also, other times you the space needs to be defended because you're playing against a guy that's just literally ping-ponging the ball around the place. If you're playing against a guy that's using a target man, this type of aggressive um, defending is really needed because you need to get in your opponent's face and let him know that he's not going to have a second on the ball. If you lose to somebody that is a better player than you, don't make it easy on him. That's what this defending tutorial is all about. Use these techniques, the three different techniques that you have at your disposal to kind of adjust to any situation if you're playing against a very aggressive player don't be afraid to throw the ball around a bit and bait, play a bit of possession bait him in you know and attack him then if you're getting bombarded you know against somebody don't be afraid to go back to a five at the back when you have the ball and be able to kind of like spray the ball around and just build your attacks you don't have to play on anyone's terms you will see chance after chance after chance especially in this flow of the game here the game can be very chaotic and crazy, where it's literally end-to-end, -end, intercepting, blocking the passing lanes, we go on an attack here with Marquinhos, I'm out of position, blocked again with Kante, he recycles it, I'm very aggressive with Marquinhos, I win the ball back into Messi, touch into Ronaldinho, and then it goes to Mbappe, and I'm going to rinse him here because he can't catch me, he can't get the ball off me, and it's a, ba a banger into the back of the net, right? So, to round off, I am going to have a part two of this where we set up our team, individual instructions, formations that I would prefer, uh, prefer to use for your skill level. But my main things with this tutorial would be to defend the space, don't rush out of position, block lanes, and controlled aggression. When the ball is there to be won, go for it and just take it and go on a counterattack. Set up your team correctly will be in part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been one of my biggest videos that I've done in terms of editing hours-wise. I hope you guys subscribe if you want more. Any questions, let me know. Until next time, peace.